Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're gonna be going over a pretty serious art-related controversy that would eventually get the attention of Hololive English's crony. Now to set the parameters of this video, we're gonna deal with a situation involving these two accounts. On the left here, you see a real artist who has done a lot of artwork for Hololive. They're well-established, have over 75,000 followers, and they are dealing with a situation where they are being impersonated by this account, who is not only impersonating the appearance of the real artist account, they are also, without permission, taking the artwork of the real artist, feeding it into AI programs, and then using that final product and claiming it's their own real artwork. And this is a situation that not only involves impersonation and harassment, but also this impersonator has allegedly sent death threats to the real artist for calling them out. So let's look at the impersonator first. This is their account created only about two years ago, and they call themselves a technical artist, which is technically not true by many definitions. But here is their account. I mean, it's pretty shameless. Their pinned comment is AI generated artwork. And you can see from this note here, it translates over to basically saying that this is the product of AI uh, technology and this is not art that they own. However, this is the artwork in question, of course, featuring Hololive's crony, where this impersonator would use the official English and Japanese tags for her community and her fan art, and this would get a lot of attention, including from Crony herself, who briefly retweeted that image before she realized it was AI, which is not exactly too surprising that she would be tricked into this because they were using the official tags for her fan art, and it's very well known. Anyone who is familiar with Hololive or is an artist who does any sort of artwork for Hololive, you know that as a company, they do not want people putting AI under official art tags. That is a big no-no. They don't care if you want to make AI art for your own enjoyment, but they do not want you using the official tags of their VTubers to promote AI-generated artwork. However, you can see in real time, as Crony realized what she did, saying, oh, ew, and then leaving this comment underneath the image shared by the impersonator, saying simply... Please tag your art as AI for future reference. That is it. Probably the nicest response in this situation because I know a lot of other people would be very angry about this situation happening to them and the fact that someone is shamelessly using AI art under their official art tag. But this would be the response of the impersonator saying this. Does Cover Corporation insult the art created by fans with heartfelt intentions? Is that the will of the VTuber themselves, or is it the company's intention? Understand that your statement is an insult to the people who support you. Yes, they actually replied with this, the audacity. And also they would get hit with a community note, one of many on their account right now, saying it should be noted that this person is impersonating an actual artist and has been stealing their art and feeding them into AI generative art. Now, of course, you see them saying this right here. They are trying to play the victim. This person is trying to play the victim while impersonating and stealing from another artist and then using or misusing art tags of crony. And then when they are politely called out for it, they play the victim. It is absolutely unbelievable, the audacity of this person. Now, here are some of the replies to that attempt to shame crony. These users saying this. Uh, she's just telling you to be honest with what you're doing. You already steal other people's art. Come on, know your place. Respect to others and you get respect yourself. Know your place, you're still just a thief. You're literally impersonating an account. Get him gone and tagging Elon Musk. And then the last one says, she's just asking you to tag it as AI. AI, art made with AI has no heartfelt intentions. LMFAO, you insult her by trying to pass it off as your own. And this would be their further response. The impersonator would post this saying, Cover Corporation conducts awareness activities against online slander. So how is that their VTuber slandered a fan? They are trying to report her to Cover Corp and basically say that she is slandering someone who is a fan. She is apparently slandering this individual by asking them to not misuse her art tags. This is insane, but this is only the beginning. So they'd make another tweet 
directed towards Cover Corp saying, this is because Cover Corporation continues to adhere to the nonsensical notion that fan art created using AI has no value. Their ideology is creating new instances of online slander where they got hit with another note saying, this account is a fake who generates AI art trained on the work of the original artist. And then here's a link to the original art and some proof that they are doing this. And then here's another one saying Cover Corporation should stop making nonsensical claims like don't use AI in fan art. Your AI art has no value. Such statements only create new instances of slander on social media. Like, brother, we heard you the first time. You got booed off the stage with two likes and 70 comments making fun of you. And you did it again this time for 27 likes and over 300 comments making fun of you. And of course, this one got hit with yet another note saying the person is impersonating another artist and is training an AI model over the original artist. And here is another response saying, how alive the end based solely on speculation has invited numerous slanders against my illustrations in my artistic activities. Absolutely insane. And here is another one. This one is baffling, absolutely baffling. So a user said, you are not an artist, you don't understand art, you only see the end product, don't call yourself an artist, where the impersonator responded by saying, are you aware that Coco was similarly brought down by individuals who insisted we will never forgive anyone who claims Taiwan is not a part of China based on their beliefs? What is bro talking about? Also trying to compare yourself to someone like Coco, like this, this person thinks they're like Nelson Mandela or something, like they're making a huge stand for AI art and they're trying to take all of these chances and, and all the, the criticism that's coming their way and they're heroically standing against it. Like it's absolutely insane. So we've spent some time talking about the impersonator and their actions. Let's shift our focus over to the real artist. And of course, I will provide a link to the real artist in the description of this video if you want to go to their account consider giving them a follow or check out their art or check out their posts about the situation if you want to help report the impersonator but let's get into it here so they made this post saying fake account blocked me they are continuing to threaten an artist by acting as me and also posting ai to the hololive fan tags with unauthorized use of their arts and they say basically here please report this account that's impersonating me and this is actually me and I even have Twitter blue to prove further that I am the actual artist here and they were to provide another quote of that giving more context saying dear people who came from crony's tweet or her response I like to announce that that account is fake they are working on aggressive behavior with uh, generative AI to artists they're also known in Japan and they now have shifted their target overseas since I worked for hollow en they got mad and acted to ruin my life beware and when they say beware they're not joking this person is very unhinged so actually the original artist here the real artist had made a post about this individual a thread on Twitter back in January of this year saying this since last year, a user has been using machine learning on my drawings, including work drawings, without my permission to post images in drawing tags and to verbally harass me. Currently, this person is distributing models that imitate his name and style without permission. He has also suggested selling them on Sked. Please report him so that we do not have to buy or use him. So this is some of the evidence that they're, they're posting this thread. This included a long list of emails that the impersonator was spamming at the artist including an image of a knife and an accompanying death threat. That is how crazy this whole situation has gotten. This person is obviously quite unhinged and not only on top of the impersonation, all these things, they're making these violent threats to go along with it. And the actual artist, the real artist would make this follow-up replies. A lot of people were going to their account to support them and help report this impersonator. They said, anyways, I apologize. To everyone and crony for this happening we already reported them a while ago but they seem to still exist by getting impressions from acting like a fake artist sorry for my messy english obviously a lot of language barriers here but you get the general point of what they're saying a very unfortunate and frustrating situation and it really goes also to twitter the fact that this account has been on the on blast for months this impersonator people have been reporting for months and months and months and nothing has happened and that is really the state of twitter they need to get more actual human beings working on reports because so many things 
slip through the cracks currently. Even something as egregious and obvious as this behavior going on, this impersonator clearly is doing something wrong and against TOS of Twitter, but they're still here after all these months, even as of making this video. I mean, this has been an ongoing situation for about a day now, and you have people like Crony from Hollow Live getting involved, and it's still not getting enough attention to get this account down. So hopefully something happens with Twitter and they take care of this situation the right way. And like I said, I'm gonna give a link to the real artist in the description of this video. Again, consider supporting them, checking out their account and what have you. But that is gonna do it for this video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comments section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.